recently Sean Strickland, I want to t- touch that just real quick. He yeah, yeah. ran his mouth about, you know, something to the effect and maybe, maybe Zach can buffer a short part of the clip in, but just basically saying like, I hear all this talk about how tough Navy SEALs are and, and you know, I don't see it and I'm tired of hearing it and, you know, come spend a week with me and I'll break you and all this stuff. And yeah. so you, you put out kind of a response video that, that blew up quite a bit and, and, got responses from other people in the community. And, you know, I don't want to spend a, a ton of time talking about it, but what, what was the deal with that? Yeah, so basically, you know, I, I, I had seen Sean Strickland all over, never had a problem with the guy, nothing, you know, zero. Uh, one of my buddies sent me a clip of him talk, you know, talking trash about SEALs, like, I'll, I'll fucking break you, bro, you know, all this. You come spend a, a week in my world. I'm thinking, man, this guy um, just has no idea. He needs to get out more. You know what I mean? Because uh, he just doesn't have an idea of, of, of the pain train that, that's involved in SEAL training. Uh, what's, what, uh, it's a life. It's not just a week, a hell week. It's not just a months and buds and SQD. You know, it's, it's a lifestyle. And, uh, and, and a lot of our buddies have died. And, yeah. and when people talk like that, you know, in the SEAL bars, like in the bars back in the day, if, if somebody talked like that, I would haul off and just, you know, knock them over, you know, and, uh, or get knocked over doing it, you know. And um, but when when people say that kind of stuff, it's ignorance. And it really wasn't about Sean. It was about who he's influencing. He influences a very high number of extremely young men. That's the hate mail I've got from it. Yeah. It's like 15, 18 year old men. And that's who his followers are. And, and it's highly influential. And you should never go around talking about uh, killing people, uh, taking souls, like it's some glamorous thing, man. War is no match for her aftermath. War is hell. The aftermath war is a thousand times worse. Lost a lot of good friends. You have to. And when somebody like Sean Strickland gets on there, and runs his mouth, it's his uh, type of person that I'm speaking to. Never meant that video to go even viral. I yeah. just kicked it out. Like, hey, bro, this is for you, bro. It's a personal thing with me. Yeah. Talking trash about our boys, and that's it. Yeah. To me, I just, I, I took it more as, uh, as, I mean, almost like misspeaking, you know, because when I, when I really listened to what he was saying, and, and if I try to remove myself from the, the bias of being a team guy, uh-huh. Um, you know, to me, it's it just like, it was disappointing because it's like, man, you know, you're obviously one of the best guys in the world at what you do. And, and, and you're extremely dedicated, extremely talented. You've, you've worked your entire life to refine a very specific skill set, and you're, and you're one of the best at it and, and hats off to you. But right now you're, you're, you know, the, the UFC to me was one of the rare bastions left in the athlete, in the professional athletic world that that didn't become diluted and, and overwhelmed with the elitist out of touch rim job professional athlete that doesn't know how the real world works. Yeah. And to me, like when he did that, he, he kind of ruined that for me for the UFC. It's like you you now are coming across like the out of touch jackass yeah. professional athlete that do- doesn't know what the fuck you're talking about. To me, that that was the biggest part of it that that rubbed me wrong is that, like, if, if you were to say, F- "Come fight me, and I'll fuck any Navy SEAL up," he's probably right. Like, yeah, you know, they're, they're absolutely like in, in a you know, especially in a cage match with rules, and probably even in a street fight. Maybe not, but probably. Uh, you know, yeah. If there's fucking guns and knives and chairs and bottles, it's a whole different story. But, <laughs> but that's not even the point. You know, the, to me, the point was is like, I'll break you, like. Dude, SEAL training is six and a half months of, of a staff of professional instructors who their entire job is to break you, and they couldn't do it, you know, in six and a half months. So how are you going to do it in a week? Now, again, like, I don't know if he meant, like, I can beat you in a fight. Like, yeah, you, you could. Like, are you going to get guys to quit in a week of your training? I doubt it, you know. Like, that's the whole point of it, you know. But, uh, again, like, to me – all that other stuff aside, it just, it, it really, for me, was disheartening because I, I, I love the UFC. I, I love MMA. I love combative sports. I train, you know, in, in combatives a, a lot, you know, several days a week. And, and I, I kind of, from a lifestyle standpoint, live that that culture athletically because I, I focus heavy on it. And, uh, and it just, it really fucking made me sad, honestly, to see him turn into that same 
jackass, you know, that, that you see in, in basketball and in football and, you know, where guys are making millions of dollars or, or have such smoke blowing up their ass for so long that they kind of become, um, their egos become so inflated that like they don't even know what's real anymore, you know, and, and it seemed like he kind of turned into that, which was just disheartening. Yeah, pr pride comes before the downfall, they say. And, uh, you know, if if I knew what I did now about Sean Strickland, seeing some of his other videos where he's talking about, you know, him being possibly bipolar. I, I can't remember exactly what he said, some weird stuff like that. And he's obviously had some real issues in life. I probably would have went a little lighter because it's like, it's like, man, this guy has issues. And uh, But you're responsible for your words and yeah. what comes out. And when he did that, man, he had that one coming. It was low hanging fruit for me. Yeah. And it's just a, it's a, it's an obvious deal for me. I'm gonna back my boys up. That's yeah. it. Yeah. You got a bunch of shit from uh, all his minions of uh, supporters or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got a lot. I got a lot of dudes that were like, "Hey, bro, good job." Shut his mouth. A lot of team guys to support. But, but on the flip side of that, I got a lot of guys saying weird stuff, like. You know, I'll come over and I'll kill you, bro. And like all this weird stuff. And I'm like, dude, who's this guy? Like, what's up? Give me your address, you know, yeah. at first. And then, of course not. And uh, I look at their page and it's like this young kid. And I started going, yeah. ooh, wait a second. I didn't know his, I didn't know his followers were so young, you know. And that, but that just, you got to be careful what you say. Yeah, I mean, you get the, the late teen, early 20s, super impressionable yep. guys, you know, and uh yeah, you got to be careful with what you tell them and how you how you tell yeah. them. That. You know, you've you've got to have some backdrop on life experience and 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 and, and like provide some context around it. You know, and I, I don't think uh, I don't think he thinks about that before he posts stuff. You yeah, know? you got to show respect. Yeah. You know, like John Jones even got on there and uh, messaged after after that and said, "Man, this is." The first time I'm embarrassed to say I'm an MMA fighter. That was dumb, Sean. Yeah, I mean, because it was dumb, right? Yeah. It, it was it was kind of. I just don't get the reason for it. You know, it's like, obviously it's an ego thing, but I still, it's like, dude, you're one of the best fighters in the world. Like, what do you have to prove running your mouth saying, like, like, are you that, I don't know if it's an insecurity. Like, I don't know how you could be being, being that good at fighting. How, like, are you insecure to the point where if you hear somebody being talked about as also being super tough that like that threatens your manhood. I'm like, I just don't get it. You know, it's like, where, where's it coming from? Yeah. And you know, you know, as well as I do after being in this game a while, like when somebody talks like that, you hear a lot of buds candidates talk like that or yeah. guys that quit or guys that, you know, it's, it's, it's a guy who wish he was a seal that talking about or had like dreams about it. And now he's made himself in the MMA world, which mad respect to this guy for being such a, you know, going in there and, and pipe hitting dudes. I mean, like hard hitting dudes. Yeah. I mean, that that's to me is a warrior facing off. Yeah. I, I, I mean, love the MMA community. Yeah. Well, and you think about percentage wise, like the percent of, of people that can say I've been a UFC champion is far more elite than the SEAL community. You know, like, what, like, dude, you got nothing left to prove. Like, yeah. you're a tough fucking dude. You're a total badass. Like, you work hard. You're committed. Like, what? what's the problem? <laughs> you know, yeah, like, you what, where's your heartburn coming from? I, I don't get it.